Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to some more FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Potential Player Ratings. Oh, we're going to move to the French League 1 in today's video. It's the only major league that we are yet to have covered. Uh, and, of course, it's got a major new signing coming to that league, to PSG. It is Neymar. We need to talk about him today. If you would do me a favor at the start of this video and hit that thumbs up button, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and, of course, don't forget to leave your comments down below as to players I should cover in future episodes. But don't forget, we're probably quite close at this point to actually getting um, real and, and confirmed confirmed ratings for the game so of course i'll cover them as and when that happens as well and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel for more of this type of content and fifa 18 gameplay once it is finally here let's get into the video so the first player i want to cover in league on is a brazilian defensive midfielder fabinho who plays his football at monaco uh, now again he's a sort of player like previous episodes there's been a couple of players which uh, had been rumored for transfers and stuff if he has moved at this point uh, then uh, apologies you know that's just that that happens i've had to create this video ahead of time um but he had a great season for monaco last year and is up there as one of the top performing players in the entire league uh, and i think what we're going to see is a plus two overall upgrade to an 82 rated central defensive midfielder on the game uh, but with some really nice like stat upgrades i think he'll be a lot more usable in the game uh you know decent pace and dribbling for a dm that's not too bad uh, i believe he's like six foot two or something as well so he's going to be uh, nice and tall and, and, and rock solid for your cdm role uh, 82 defending and 82 physical is what i've given him and i think that sort of player being brazilian and stuff will probably cost you around 15,000 coins gonna get a strong link to neymar as well don't forget as uh, so that might add a few thousand to him uh, if he gets an inform i think the stats are going to be getting up there and close towards him being a member of club 80 if that's the case over 100k for that type of player for sure Next up then, we have got a very tricky midfielder. The Italian who plays for Paris Saint-Germain is Marco Verratti. Uh, 85 rated on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. But this guy's great. You know, he's a hard worker. He's got amazing vision and stuff. And is just superb on the ball. I think we're going to see uh, Verratti hit that more elite... Uh, center midfielder category of like 87 plus i think we'll see an 87 rated Verratti in fifa 18 ultimate team uh, so that's a plus two overall from his fifa 17 item and in terms of stats some nice upgrades to actually make him usable because well previously i uh, know he might be an 85 rated in 17 but i've just i've never really found the 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 point in using him he's so sure he doesn't quite work on the game uh, but give him insane passing great dribbling and a boosted defending stat and i think you could find a player that would kind of work for you uh, i think he'll cost around 60 to 75k and then getting himself an inform uh, will you know boost the dribbling above 90 and stuff reckon that'll cost you around quarter of a million coins so moving on to another one of the top performing midfielders in a league on last year it is seri uh, again you can uh, you could potentially put like a Liverpool badge on this if you wanted to like there, there's a chance that he could have moved I know there's been some transfer talk there uh, But again at the time of recording this video. He still plays for Nice uh, got an upgrade to an 80 overall in FIFA 17 went and got himself uh, a team of the season as well. I think he was like 88 rated on, on FIFA 17, uh, which was a, a very decent card. He had like club 80 stats. Uh, I think we're going to see a plus two overall rating to the Ivory Coast midfielder, uh, especially if he does get that move as well. I think we'll see a nice upgrade on this player uh, to extremely usable stats. You know, decent pace, great dribbling and passing. And then just sort of like average to moderate stats in the shooting, defending and physical uh, departments which will only get boosted uh, to, to very, very usable levels once he starts getting informed. But don't forget, his first inform is likely to be an 84 or an 85. So those stats, again, like Fabinho, could be very close to that all-80 club, literally from the first or second inform. Okay, so let's move on to an attacking midfielder here. From Montpellier, it is Boudaboos. The Algerian attacking midfielder has a 79-rated item on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. I believe he didn't get any form of upgrade either but he's a goal scorer and an ass a, a goal assister as well i guess you, that's not really a word but he assists some goals as well is what i'm trying to get at and i think again we're going to see like a plus two overall upgrade 
Tabuda Boos to a, like a, a rare gold item as well. Why not, hey? I reckon an 81 rated Buda Boos with likes of 83 dribbling and 82 passing, four star skills, that sort of thing would be uh, incredibly usable actually in like a starter French League gun side. Uh, and of course you could maybe hybrid off a little bit, get some Mares action going on in there and, and go to a different league from that way. Uh, I think he'll cost around sort of 5,000 coins one of the more entry-level players on the game that's going to be usable, I think. Uh, and then if he gets himself an inform, we're looking at around sort of 50, 60,000 coins, unless he gets some really, really nice stats. Uh, the the club and nation combo is probably going to put some people off just because he doesn't play for, like, the biggest club in French League. Uh, and, you know, Algerian players, apart from Mares, Slimani, a couple of others, uh, it, there's not a huge amount of option for, like, really, really overpowered teams. So off to Marseille now, we're talking about Florian Tovan, the French midfielder, uh, was an 81 rated item in FIFA 17, and I believe that was an upgrade as well. Uh, he went up to like 81 pace and 83 dribbling, uh, and I believe in FIFA 17, I think this guy had a tots as well. Uh, but again, lots of goals and assists in the French League on last year, deserving of another little upgrade by plus one to an 82 overall. So far, we've got quite a lot of 82 rated players. In, in my predictions today, but I think that's what's going to happen uh, and I think Tavan will have actually some very usable stats in terms of uh, Decent pace very very good dribbling and then those shooting and passing stats going to get boosted as well I reckon he'll still have four star skill moves like he does uh, in FIFA 17 And I think a player like that at the start of the game could be uh, could be quite expensive somewhere around that sort of 5 to 7.5 K mark Which is kind of expensive for one player in like a starter team um, And then hopefully he gets lots of informs like he did in FIFA 17 with his first inform, probably racking you up about 100,000 coins uh, with some great stats in the pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling department. Oh, why not have one more 82 overall rated player then? Uh, I've given it away already, haven't I? I have not even transitioned into the 82 yet, uh, but we're talking about Thomas Lemar, the French midfielder for Monaco. Uh, got boosted up to an 80 rated in FIFA 17, but definitely deserving of another upgrade, I think. Uh, more of like a rating refresh like a rating correction up to like an 82 again why not let's give him a plus two shall we and in terms of stats like Tavan on the uh, on the right hand side on the left hand side I think Lamar's going to be pretty usable again now I'm pretty sure I've heard his name pop up in transfer rumors again uh, so you could potentially give him a different badge uh, to whatever team he he might possibly go to uh, but I reckon another year in the French League on for Monaco would do him a world of good uh, and I reckon he'll have the likes of 85 pace 84 dribbling and like Tovan uh, 79 shooting and passing usable stats there especially at the start of the game and because that's slightly higher pace stat I think he might cost you sort of 7.5 to 10,000 coins at the start of the game give him an inform uh, and don't forget this guy's got like pretty high defending for a, for a left midfielder like you could almost use him as a wing back uh, or especially a left midfielder in a 3-5-2 so he's going to help get back and stuff that would be very useful that'll put his price up a little bit as well around 120k for an inform if he does get that little boost up to like 70 defending and stuff pretty cool card for fifa 18 Okay, so I've got three more players left to cover. Let's move on to three of the biggest names in this league, shall we? Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan striker, you know, top goal scorer in French League on last year, plays for PSG as their main striker. He's an 86 rated, and I believe that was an upgrade as well on FIFA 17. He then went and, and got, you know, the most goals in the league last year. Uh, I believe he also had like a 95 rated tots and player of the year or whatever it was in French League on. Uh, with 99 shooting on his card, I I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I think that's what he adds. Uh, and I think we're going to see a, a nice upgrade for Cavani. A plus two overall to a, a very elite player here. An 88 rated striker in the French League gun. That you're, of course, going to be able to link to the likes of Neymar and stuff like that. Neymar, Verratti, all of those players. Um... But with the Uruguayan being up, uh, upgraded by plus two, I think the stats are going to be decent as well. He might only still have around sort of that 80 pace, maybe even a little bit less than that. I've probably been quite generous there. Uh, but good dribbling and physical, 83 in those departments, but a really high shooting stat uh, to denote that he did get loads and loads of goals last year. I think that's what we're going to see in FIFA 18 for Edinson Cavani. Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He'll be the sort of striker that is going to barge defenders out of the way. Have some good physical battles. Obviously, Cavani's always been pretty good in the air as well. Uh, so, I think he... 
He might struggle to be one of the more like OP players on the game, but if you play him alongside someone extremely quick, you've probably got a great duo uh, uh, partnership up front. And I think he could cost a lot of coins as well. Being a strong link to Neymar and probably one of the most, well, probably the highest rated striker in that league, uh, I think he might cost you around 100k, maybe even more than that. And an inform would probably look at sort of 300, 350k for the Uruguayan. So let's move on to what is the biggest upgrade I've given any single player in any of these videos so far that I've done over the past few weeks. It is Mbappe. So on FIFA 17, uh, 71 rated non-rare silver winger. Uh, on FIFA 18, I think we're going to get like a plus 10 overall. Obviously, he's a massive name in world football now. And again, there's the talk of him, you know, like moving to, to PSG or, or something like that. Uh, so put the PSG badge on him in your head if he has already made that move. Uh, but I believe the French striker, or the French attacker, should I say, will get a striker card in FIFA 18. And I think he is going to get that plus 10 to like an 81 rated striker. Uh, with around 90 pace, 81 dribbling and 82 shooting. That would be some really good stats on a player of that rating. Um, and then there's so much potential. If he has... You know, he had a breakout six months last year. If he has a solid season again, he is going to be definitely up there uh, as, as one of the hottest talents out there uh, uh, for a young footballer. People are literally already, already calling him like the next Henri, which is huge shoes to fill. I think for an 81 rated striker, you might think he'll cost an absolute fortune. Um, but around 20, 25k is what I think I like really he'll cost uh, because at the end of the day he is still like an 81 rated striker there's better players out there on the game uh, and then if he gets an inform and those stats really start going up like we're talking a couple of hundred thousand coins at least for like an 84 rated uh, inform Mbappe I could see that uh, three star skill moves four star weak foot is what I've given him I think that's what he'll receive as well he could be one of those players that if you pack right at the start of the game, being quite an easy pack of an 81 overall rating, like that's the sort of player that's going to make you bank if you're opening lots and lots of packs. So let's finally move on then to the, you know, why not talk about the, the world's most expensive player? Yeah, that's probably, probably worthwhile doing, isn't it? It is, of course, Neymar. The Brazilian signed for a gigantic fee, a preposterous fee, uh, from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain. And... I think he's going to stay as a 92 overall. I think some people would, would say that he's going to get a plus one upgrade. But he didn't have the greatest of seasons last year. And was already boosted up you know, highly in FIFA 17 up to a 92 overall. I think we'll still see a 92 Neymar in French Ligue 1 for Paris Saint-Germain in FIFA 18. Now, he started off the season. like As I record this, they've played like one or two games, I think. And he, he scored goals in in his first game. He scored. He definitely scored on his debut, which is impressive and and good for him because he's got off to a good start. I think he's going to receive multiple informs throughout the year, uh, and of course he's going to have that ones to watch. EA confirmed that he's going to have that ones to watch when the transfer went through. We're also talking like 92 pace, 95 dribbling, a high shooting stat as well, five star skills and weak foot. He's one of those players which just works on FIFA. He might be extremely weak, but the defenders have got to catch him first, right, in order to be able to barge him off the ball. If you can pack yourself a ones to watch Neymar at the start of FIFA 18, uh, one, you could make bank from selling it, or two, you could just watch that, that card boost over time. I think I'd probably keep it if, if I was to pack one. I think it'll cost you half a million coins, maybe even a little bit more than that, uh, and then over a million for sure if he gets those informs. <laughs> Neymar on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Definitely ones to watch. So there you have it, guys. We have now discussed all of the players in the French League Gun that I had for you already in this video. If you uh, would like to share some other players that you think deserve different ratings and stuff, let me know. Leave leave the names of some players in the comment section. That would be awesome. And hit that thumbs up button on today's video. I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.